55. Currently, it is 20 degrees outside in Reno. All right. Well, first of all, we've got him back on the show. Clint Jolly, congratulations so on much. the big wind. Chopped Restaurant Impossible. You went there to New York. We had you on. Gave you a little bit of basket, something interesting to yeah. put together. You did it again a week later. Much more difficult. Tell us. What was it like to do it on that big stage? Um, it was very cool. The coolest thing about this was I was voted in by Reno and beyond, yes. you know, so it made me feel really good to get out there and kind of represent Reno and show people what our culinary scene is all about here. So Absolutely. it was really cool. It, we, we, what I did was a smaller format, shorter format than mm -hmm. the full on episode. So we did one dish, but uh, yeah, still the pressure was on and, you know, the yes. timer started and going and going and going and four of us in a really small space, four chefs, it was... Uh, it was a ton of fun. What was your ingredients? What so were? So the basket, four things. We had pork belly. Mm -hmm. We had uh, turnips. We had ras al hanout, which is a North African spice blend. And we had cherry pie filling to kind of throw us off. And so you made? So I made, I ground the pork belly and I made uh, Turkish style pork kebabs. Oh, I, I was, oh. when you, when you ground it, I was like, oh my gosh, everyone's going to go ahead and make that pork belly just like you, See? good <laughs> for you. Yeah, so I had to do a little different. So I did, you know, ground it, seasoned with a Ross Al Hanout, made a turnip hash with a little cherry agridolce over that, mm -hmm. made a curry sauce for the whole thing, came out nice. Awesome. Congratulations Thank on you. that. And so what happens next? Is it like they put you on potentially for another show or you have to do the whole process over again if you'd like to do it again? Well, <clears throat> would have to do the whole process to go to Chopped again. Yeah. Um, but I feel like I might have a leg up now that I've already won, Absolutely. you know, a different format of it. So I think I'm going to go for that. But uh, what's next is just to kind of show off myself and Reno a little yeah. bit more any chance that I can. I love that. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. Thanks. Real quickly, you've got something up for anybody who's looking for this weekend for an app. Yeah, we're talking about Super Bowl weekend, right? Mm -hmm. So Super Bowl, casual, fun parties, all about stuff that's easy to make. It's quick. It's tasty. Yeah. We were talking about earlier, it's not Whole30 friendly. It's not healthy at all. But uh, <laughs> little chorizo beer cheese dip. So super simple, like bass chorizo, uh, crumble it up, throw some onions in there, saute it down, dump cheese in. Velveeta is the easiest way to go if yes. you want to use whole cheese or, you know, like real sharp cheddar. Uh, one trick to keep it emulsified and nice and creamy is sodium citrate, which is an emulsifying salt. Add a little bit of that, and it'll keep it from breaking and getting oily. Love that, and some chips to boot. Clint, it's congratulations. Easy. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you for, for serving Reno so well over there as well, and best of luck, and keep us updated if anything else comes of your course. way. Of course. All right, we appreciate it. Ta we're going to toss it over to Tim with a look at our forecast on this Tuesday. Hi, Tim. All right, well, good morning to you. We have